Jesus, I almost dropped it. Will it fit over my face shell? Ah, probably not. What's up? Now listen, I know what you're expecting. You saw unboxing in the title. You saw a brother walk in with a box. Therefore, he must unbox said box. But you might be thinking, we've watched a lot of unboxing videos from this guy. This fool. This absolute buffoon. And he's never just walked into a room. Casually. But you know, folks, I think it's about time that we, uh, we professionalize these things a little bit. We start to value what is actually in these boxes. We start to protect the sanctity of the unboxing video and approach it with a little bit more professional. <laughs> Fuck that, I got a package. Hey, what up? I'm Miles, and welcome back. Now, we have been a bit behind on these unboxing videos, and pretty much videos in general. If you've been keeping up with me or my content on YouTube, you've been noticing I've been trying a couple different things. I've been trying some new things, some longer form video essays, some longer form content, and of course, some challenges, getting outside, getting out of this environment, out of this room, and actually going out and doing some fun stuff. And it's been hit or miss, you know? Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. That's just the life of a content creator. That's just what's gonna happen, especially when you're trying something new. But with that being said that doesn't mean there are some videos I'm not gonna keep making such as unboxing videos when I get new stuff for new cosplays when I get new stuff to make all that fun stuff I love unboxing it for you guys you guys love watching it so we're gonna do that if you've been keeping up to date with the stuff that we've been posting and talking about throughout the year you'll know that in January we announced every cosplay we were gonna be doing for this year we had the biker scout trooper which is done and dusted we also had the ps5 symbiote spider-man which is done and dusted aside from the fact that I literally broke the face show when I went to go use it so we still don't have a photo shoot of it. We also have hopefully the Cat Bodega Miles Morales suit in December and we have the secret cosplay in October. But there's one more. We have Kylo Ren from The Force Awakens in the middle of those two. I think like September, November is when we're going for that. We've done a couple videos this year already kind of like building up to that. We've unboxed the Neo Pixel Kylo Ren lightsaber. We've unboxed the Kylo Ren suit and we did a video with my friend who's going to be cosplaying Rey next to me as Kylo teaching her how to use a lightsaber because we're going to try to make a choreographed lightsaber fight with the two of us. But this is the big one. This is the big kahuna. This is the full cheese. This is the draw four uno cards of parts when it comes to Kylo Ren. We got the helmet, baby. So I was umming and ahhing for months on which helmet I wanted to get, how I wanted to do it, and I couldn't really come up with the best solution. I decided to kind of hit one right in the middle. It was fairly expensive, but you get what you pay for and it's really good quality. It had really good reviews and I reached out to a lot of my cosplay friends in the community about this vendor to see if they were legit, they were, got some good reviews, got some good talks, so I ordered the helmet. When I ordered the helmet, I had three options that I could have gotten. I, I did not want to get the completely finished helmet. Even though it would have saved me a lot of time to get the finished helmet, I really wanted to not only make the helmet myself from the parts they gave me, but make a video on it too, because I thought that would be a pretty cool video later down the line. By the way, this isn't that video. This is just the unboxing video. <laughs> Do you think I have time to like coordinate two videos at once? I don't. Hey, that's a lie, dog. This is like your third video you filmed today. Shut up. Anyway, I ordered the DIY build it yourself kit where they send you a bunch of different pieces and you basically build and paint the helmet yourself. Now, I will preface, I did already open it a little bit so that I could share a teaser on my Instagram story and to confirm what was in the box, but I didn't go farther than just peeking in there. So I genuinely don't know how the helmet is separated, how it's broken apart, and how we what we have to do to it. Jesus, they insulate the crap out of these things. I'm not gonna use a blade because knowing me, I'm gonna end up cutting the helmet. Woo, look at that shine already. I like that. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. You got the mouth plate too. I love the finish on it, that nice matte black. That's a great surface to start painting on. What's in here? This is probably the foam for the inside. Oh shit, is it gonna fit on my head? It should, I custom fit this thing. Hold on. <coughs> Un momento. Ow, okay, yeah. We'll be okay. I don't know why I was worried about it not fitting on my head. Um, because there was literally an option to say, hey, measure your head and send us the measurements. This arrived so long ago. Like, this has been sitting behind the scenes for so long. Um, so I forgot a lot about it. Damn, they already did a lot of this for me. I gotta check what option I got. Because I swear to God, um, when I ordered the helmet, the DIY kit, this wasn't painted black. Like, I ordered the 
right off the bed, the print bed. So damn, like I definitely paid for the option of right off the print bed. I don't know if they painted it for me, but okay, like that's cool. All I have to do is paint down the chrome and then weather it. All right, cool. So then the next video will literally just be painting the Kylo Ren helmet. Looks like the inside, we do have these nice foam insert pads. This probably goes on the back of the head. This is probably the forehead and this is obviously the top of the head. Ooh, Uno, what card is this? Reverse, sick dude. I love Uno. Cool, there's obviously plastic there. So like the helmet would obviously chop like that. And then the way I'm probably going to attach this mouth plate is using magnets. So I'm gonna wanna put like a magnet. How does it go in? Outside like that, yeah? Does it sit outside or inside? Hold on. Wait, I'm stupid. I can't figure things like this out. No way, it doesn't do that, does it? Hold on. My three brain cells are not working together right now. It definitely does. It definitely goes over. Do these bend in? I don't want to. I don't want to bend these if they're not supposed to bend. Is there like a section? Oh wait, I'm just stupid. Hold on, give me a second here. Should I cut this section out, or should you like watch how long I'm struggling with this? I feel like it's more accurate for you guys to just watch me struggle. There, I got it. See, I'm smart. Okay, there. So it rock. It it connects down there and it rocks in place. Cool. Uh, I definitely think I'm gonna want to attach it with magnets because I, do I need, I don't I don't know I don't know I'll debate that when I'm building it if I need to attach it with magnets I think that might get too bulky and get in the way so I'm definitely gonna paint it with this off it's way easier to access now I can't get it apart what the f um that's definitely reassuring to know that it's like only two pieces because in my head I was totally prepared for this to be like. 12 pieces and I would have zero time to do it. I'm still gonna wanna dedicate a whole day to painting it, but the paint job is already there. Like I already like this matte paint job. I'm only gonna have to weather it and paint down the silver. That leaves me with another issue is I have to figure out what kind of paint this is so that whatever paint I use doesn't clash with it. Um, I messaged them about what paint they use and they said they use basic acrylic, I believe. Um, so that like doesn't help me that much. Either way, I'm just, I'm rambling at this point. I'll figure it out. Anyway, overall, what I will say is I'm incredibly happy with this, the shape of it, the, the feel of it. The, it's very smooth. It's very like strong. Obviously, if I dropped it like off of a parking garage, it would break. Kind of like what happened to this. Yeah, this was 100% my fault. I dropped it off of a, of a parking garage. That was my, that was me. Classic Miles. Jesus, I almost dropped it. But yeah, I doubt that there's gonna be a section where I'm like dropping this or throwing it because I keep the mask on the whole time. Will it fit over my face show? Ah, probably not. Oh, I can wear like a hat. It's measured to fit so perfectly over my face that there is a little bit of wiggle room. So is my face shell. Like my face shell is meant to fit my face the same way. So they're not gonna fit over each other, but it does make for a pretty sick headpiece. Bro, that's my new, this is gonna be my new mask. That's dope. Anyway. Like I said, there's not really a way I can showcase the entire helmet because I still have to build the entire helmet. That leaves the door open for another video in the future for me to assemble this helmet, paint it, or I'm sorry, paint the helmet, then assemble it, put everything in it, show you guys how to do it. If you are doing this yourself, then you can follow along. Watch me struggle. Don't do the things that I do when I mess up. I'm eventually gonna figure out what paint that I wanna use. I wanna use a silver paint that's not like super, super reflective. Something almost kinda like these scissors where if it's on there, it has a bit of sheen, but it's not like chrome. Anyway, the basic gist of that is gonna be super simple. Tape it off, paint the chrome on, weather the chrome, and then dry brush around the helmet, do some basic wear and tear, and then install everything. And then I'm still indecisive about how I wanna put the actual faceplate on, if I wanna magnetize it, if so it can come off if I want to super glue it on. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, that's all stuff for another future video. So I do apologize for this video being a bit shorter because it isn't much. It's just opening up a couple pieces of a helmet to show you what it's going to be and kind of build some hype for that. Because obviously I haven't been putting a lot of focus on Kylo. I've been putting a lot of focus on the secret cosplay and that's going to continue to happen because I'm much more excited about that than Kylo. Not that I'm not excited about Kylo, but that can wait until after the secret cosplay. And I really want to start promoting that. Speaking of which, let's give you all another hint because as we're getting a lot closer, I'm going to start giving you guys a lot more hints and a lot more teasers. So you got to make sure that you are keeping up with everything, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all that because you never know where the hints are going to drop. I just dropped a huge hint on Instagram a couple days ago, especially in like the community channel set on Instagram. Those guys get the most. Anyway, the last two hints were in the last video, the Spider-Man push-up challenge video. If you want to go watch that, go watch those two hints. But the hint for this video is a very big piece of the cosplay has been in this video the entire time. Like I said, I can't explain any of the hints, but a very big piece of the cosplay has been in this video that you are watching the entire time. So go back and watch it and happy hunting. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and love, do good things, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, Spider-Man!